Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, update to my uh, everyday carry uh, gentleman's EDC uh, for you guys. Um, I haven't done one for a while, so uh, no better time than the present, as they say. Uh, so we'll get into that in a moment, but uh, first thing, of course, customary wrist check. I'm wearing my Tissot Visodate, of course. I uh, just really love this, uh, love this watch. Okay, so uh, the first thing in my uh, EDC is, uh, of course, every gentleman needs a notebook. So this one is a Japanese uh, Rolban uh, notebook. And of course, you'll recognize the pencil from my previous unboxing. It's a Mitsubishi Hayuni. Now, as you know, I'm a, a writer, an artist. I always am coming up with great ideas, so I got to be able to jot them down quickly. Now, just for backup, I have another one. This one is made by Fabriano. Uh, of course, a beautiful notebook. I don't know if you can see there if it's picking it up on the camera, but it's got a, like a grid of dots on there. Made in Italy, of course. Okay, next course every gentleman needs a knife now this is uh, you've seen this before of course this is the Swiss Army um, 100 year anniversary officer's knife just a, f a few simple tools in there but uh, everything a gentleman needs um, next we've got a classic mag light uh, not much to say about that every gentleman needs a torch all right, now, um, as I've mentioned, I'm an artist, a musician. During the day, you may uh, come up with maybe a melody or something. You need to flesh out a song, flesh out an idea. So I always carry a kazoo. Uh, this one is, uh, is quite good quality. It's plastic, but it's made in the USA. It's uh, quite a simple tool just for, as I say, fleshing out a melody or something like that. And then, of course, I gotta have a harmonica to supplement that um, to work out maybe a, a bit of a orchestration, something like that for one of my compositions. It helps to have a, a couple of different options um, uh, for, for musical instruments. Okay, so another writing implement here. I've got a uh, classic cross pen. Now I've tried, uh, I've tried those dreadful, horrid Parker jotters. Um, now, don't touch them; they're trash. Stick with the uh, stick with the cross for sure. Okay. Now, of course, uh, you know you got to carry your mammon around with you, don't you, these days? So I've got a couple wallets here. I've got my um, transit pass in this wallet, and then I've got my my standard wallet for carrying some cash, some cards. Uh, this one is uh, made in Japan. It's really beautiful leather. It's, uh, the company is called The Thinking Cow. And if you can see there, you can see a cow kind of uh, philosophically um, contemplating something. Contemplate that yourself if you like. Okay, so next we've got, uh, well, of course, I need an eraser to, uh, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes too, so... It's all about, that's about all I can say about that. And uh, keeping with the 20th century, you got to have your eye telephone, right, these days? Okay, so next, um, sometimes you just want to relax, kind of uh, unwind a bit. So I've got a yo-yo. Now this is a, a vintage piece. It's uh, made in Sweden. It's a really beautiful uh a beautiful example of Swedish craftsmanship. Okay, so always take my camera with me. So I've got uh, this beautiful um, American Pelican protective case. Uh, it's quite compact and it's quite beautifully made. Um, it protects my camera when I'm out on the road. Okay, and uh, again, you know I'm a musician, so I always keep a, a few uh, 
backup tubes on hand uh, for my amplifiers. So I've got a couple 12AX7s there and I've got an EL84. Um, now these are uh, just the basic Sovtech made in Russia uh, tubes, which uh, do the trick in a pinch anyway. Sometimes it's nice to have some new old stock, uh, maybe some Westinghouse or some General Electric um, when you're in the studio, but uh, these ones will do in a pinch, as I say. So let's put these up here. Okay, so uh, next, this time of year, it uh, gets a bit sunny. you got to protect your retina, your retinas. Um, so I've got my uh, vintage Xenia sunglasses. Uh, they will do the trick, help keep your eyes safe and healthy. Okay, also at this time of year, of course, uh, lots of people are afflicted with uh, hay fever. I'm, I'm not excluded, so I've got uh, my allergy pills there. Okay, a tape measure always comes in handy. Um, sometimes you have to take up a ham on a skirt or something like that, so it's good to be able to uh, just whip this out and get to it without much uh, hassle. Okay, I've just got a little uh, Olfa cutter here. Um, it's made in Japan. This is great if you're on the road, you're out uh, and uh, you want to do a quick impromptu unboxing video. Uh, this will help get through the uh, outer packaging, the tape and, uh, uh, and what have you. Okay, next uh, second to last penultimate item here. I've got my uh, keys, of course. Um, I've got this on a, a keychain. Um, we've got a mallard on there. We've got uh, a Lego uh, Squidward. And very close to my heart, we've got a Vancouver Island keychain. Now, that's where I grew up, born and raised on Vancouver Island. Uh, my, a couple of my friends actually uh, make these, so I'll leave a, a link down below. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'd highly recommend it. They're uh, beautiful things. So again, keys, uh, everyone needs keys. And the last item, now you obviously can't take the kitchen sink with you, so uh, if you wanna do some washing up, sometimes you can't, uh, so I always take a hand sanitizer with me. So we'll put that, put that there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that update to my EDC for uh, May 2018. Uh, of course, uh, leave any comments down below. Let me know what you guys like to carry around uh, with you every day. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, cheers.